Hello. Um, when I was a kid, I had a sticker on my desk that said, weird. I put it there because it was how I felt. I felt different, spacey, sensitive. I remember one boy in my class pointed to it and he said, you sure are. <laughs> but I liked it when he said it. It felt like validation. I remember smiling proudly and saying, that's right, I'm weird. I daydreamed my way through school. My head was in the clouds. I got my paper sent home because I couldn't color inside the lines or even draw a straight line even with a ruler. I crammed for all my tests the night before. I lost papers, but I got by. I took the dares. I was never afraid. And as a grown-up, I danced my way through my 20s and 30s, and I'm still kind of doing it. Uh, I took chances. I lost a lot of stuff. I famously threw away my tax refund check and had to wade through the garbage to find it because, of course, I had forgotten to pay a couple of bills, so I really needed that refund check. I got the time wrong for parties, even my own kids that I planned. <laughs> I'm not known for my house cleaning skills. My mother-in-law once told me, you know, cleaning the house just isn't your bag. <laughs> and she's right. I never and still can't keep the house clean or any of the schedules of all the sports for all my kids straight. One mom on one of the teams gave me a calendar as a gentle nudge to get my shit together. <laughs> I didn't really put it together that it was more than me just being quirky and a weird person until I watched one of my kids start to have some of the same quirks. I took a quiz online and thought, huh, maybe all this stuff, all these quirks that my kid and I share, maybe it's ADHD. I read everything I could, I researched and I read some more, I talked to doctors and therapists, then I took my kid to the doctor who confirmed his diagnosis and we decided to give my kid a low dose of medicine and I thought that I got slightly judgmental looks before, but whoa, forget about it now. I cried a little bit though when we made that decision. I cried with relief and fear for my kid. I cried a little bit about my life and like the lyrics of the old Tiffany song, What Could Have Been. I mean, with a diagnosis and meds when I was a kid, I probably could have been a Harvard grad. <laughs> Even though I'm a little pissed I'm not an Ivy Leaguer, I do appreciate understanding the whys and the science behind my quirkiness. My diagnosis felt like that kid agreeing with my weird sticker, like validation. But here's the thing, this whole ADHD, my brain isn't like everyone else's brain, isn't all bad. It's sort of what I like to think of as a superpower. Remember the Wonder Twins? I use it like that. Today, my superpower is impulsivity in the form of a road trip to somewhere amazing. <laughs> like last summer when I decided to take the kids to Graceland on sort of the spur of the moment. It took two days to drive there and after we toured the mansion and the gift shops, we got back in the minivan and the kids said, now what? And I said, I have no idea. And I really didn't, and it didn't freak me out. I had no clue about where we were going to stay or go next, but it was so much fun, and it was freeing, and I loved it. You see, my bag is sweet chaos. It's color and four kids and three jobs and feeling it all and loving it so much. My superpower is adventure and doing five million things at once and being sensitive and compassionate and being able to totally be in a moment. There are a few side effects. Just like one of those drug commercials on TV, I'm going to say some of them really fast. <laughs> I'm gonna try. All right, as a mom with ADHD, the side effects include a chance of depression. You probably, definitely will be the last parent at pickup after practice. Some people have reported severe procrastination and some job hopping. The likelihood of people looking at you oddly and judging you increases by 1,058%. Impulse control issues can lead to some pretty heated arguments and quite a few bad decisions. Limiting your use of alcohol is recommended because the likelihood of being an addict is pretty damn high, so boy, you have to be careful with that stuff. But at least you won't have severe diarrhea. <laughs> 
It's not a perfect life, it's not a perfect brain, but I want my kid to know that having a different kind of brain, an ADHD brain, can be a superpower. It can make life colorful and wonderful, and it doesn't always have to be dulled. It can be powerful and freeing, and not everyone has to get it, and it's okay to be a little weird.